Hey, travelers, it's Valentine's Day week, and I got my sweetheart Jake here with me. Yay. I love you, too. <laughs> uh, we don't have any Valentine's Day beers because that I don't know that they exist, really. There there might be one or... There's, there's the, These aren't Valentine's Day beers. They're, uh, these yeah, are I guess, chocolate. chocolate. Yeah. They're, they're chocolate beers, so I guess to go along with that, there's, yes, there's some chocolates in a crappy box. These are more like a, it's effing freezing outside and it sucks so let's get some beer right. to warm us up that's right because we're still I, i'm gonna consider it still in the polar the vortex. vortex yeah this is, yeah it's all we just we us. just got about a foot of snow this last week so we're, we're digging out yet and you know it's bad when you have to dig out your mailbox yeah to you see know, it do you know what i do huh? i just dome it oh. i just so the front is still accessible to the mailman yeah but the rest of it's covered you just like like a machete, just chop off the front. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yep. I had to, I had to dig to put the flag back down because the snow had pushed the flag up, and all you oh, could yeah. see was just a flag. So I knew where my <laughs> mailbox was, but like I don't have any outgoing mail, so that's good. Yeah, and that's the hell that we live in in Wisconsin. So Wisconsin uh, problems. We feel sorry for all of you that are digging out or maybe going through the cold, and and if you're not, well, consider yourself blessed. Uh, anyway, we're uh, we're going to talk about Hot Passport again this week. I have Hot Passport shirt on. Thanks to Matt at Hot Passport for that. Uh, so we're, we're going out of the Wisconsin one again because uh, we may give one of these away one day. And so you should keep watching and follow us on all of our social media channels. We're going to talk about McFleshman's in, uh, in Appleton because Andy, who you may all remember, is, is over there. So Lion's Tail Anita in, in Nina and McFleshman's in Appleton. So um, it's a neat little place. I've been yeah, there. Yeah. yeah, it's got mm -hmm. a little bit of a I don't know English Irish pub vibe right. going to it. Really cozy. They have an interesting root beer. I brought my son there. Yeah, and the, the so root, kid friendly. Kid friendly. Yeah. yeah, they have games and stuff. The root beer was lighter than our beer. Yeah, lighter in color and tasted interesting. So huh. Good, That's, great beer. And if you're interested in the uh, non-alcoholic stuff, check out the root beer. Yeah. And you can get two for one if you get the hot passport. So and five dollars off if you used uh, promo code Taproom Travelers. Just so you know. The other thing I'd like to point out that we've never talked about. So on the hot passport, you see these little icons on the bottom here. That tells you whether or not uh, you know you can bring your dogs in, whether they have food trucks, kid friendly, um, patio seating, all that kind of good stuff. So. Uh, if you're ever wondering, you know, you're like, can I bring my kids to this place? I mean, you can typically bring your kids to most breweries, but um, kid-friendly breweries are, are another thing altogether. So, or if you're like, I really want to go sit on an outdoor patio right yeah. now, this yeah. time of year, yeah, that'd be a good spot. Right now, I, I bet there is open patio seating on yeah. all of the patios. I would imagine. If, if they've shoveled them out. Yep. I have seen some of them that were doing it. So, why? <laughs> You know, you got to get that Instagram picture. I suppose. Yeah. 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 Uh, the other thing I'd like, we're not sponsored by him, but Dots Pretzels. Please. Get yourself Just a send big us bag free... of Dots Pretzels. Yeah. Yeah. And there it is. Uh, yeah. They're out of North Dakota. Probably the best pretzels I've ever had. Mm -hmm. I've had 12 since I've been here. Yes. Yeah. Well, you got to count them. You know, I think it's, uh, what is it, 18. Six more to go. Yeah, 18 for 130 calories. But if you're drinking beer, who really cares at that point? <laughs> you don't care at that point. No. And let's speaking of beer, let's break into some of these. So uh, I got these at the Coffee Grounds today. Shout out to Candace, who I don't think watches these, but somebody from Coffee Grounds probably does. But if you're ever in Eau Claire and you're looking for a variety of beers, Coffee Grounds is your place. So uh, I hadn't been in there in a while, and I thought uh, – you know, let's let's try something different. You did find this one you brought, but yep. we're gonna we're gonna go from uh, Oliphant, our one of our favorite places, Hunk Boy, the robust porter. <laughs> don't Google that. Yeah, don't don't Google most. <laughs> actually, most of Oliphant's names, I wouldn't Google. Don't don't, yeah, especially at work. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Hunk Boy wouldn't Just turn out well. Hunk Boy wouldn't turn out well. Robust porter, you no. might you might be okay, but Hunk Boy robust. No. Yeah, don't don't do that. So we're going to start, uh, you know, on the lighter side. And I say lighter side, this is still a 6%. So 
It's light for it's us. It's light for the, us. The two of us, it's, yeah. Yeah. Nice and roasty on the nose. Mm-hmm. You know, it's actually pretty smooth. Yeah, very smooth. That's a really smooth porter. Yeah. Very drinkable. Yeah, you know, you get a lot of porters that are a little bitey on the end. Mm-hmm. Get that little uh, that little finish that, that gets that bite on the back of your mouth. Mm-hmm. Not this one. Not this one at all. Well balanced. Yeah. It's a, and it, you know, honestly, everything that we've had from Olifant, Top I've, I've loved yeah. it. And their their can art is getting way, way better. <laughs> Are those hunk boys in the front? You know, I'm never sure what they are, but um, bell hops. I know a lot of I know a lot of the uh, the characters that they draw are people that either you know co own mm-hmm. or work in the the tap room. So, yeah, got some attractive uh, people working at Elephant then, right? Yeah, <laughs> you can go there. Uh, they're not in the hot passport, but um, also a great place to go. It's one of our uh, little favorite places off the beaten path. And their their chalkboard is always, if you've never been there, the, the what you see in the cans is what is echoed on the chalkboards oftentimes, yeah. and it's yeah. some pretty creative stuff. You can do. check out check out our Instagram feed. Uh, yeah. I think I've posted it a couple different times on there, uh, and it's, it's ever-changing. Yeah, well, yeah, it is a teeny small tap room. However... Uh, you can always find some VHS movie playing because mm-hmm. they have a few different walls of VHS tapes. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think if it's not too busy, they pull out the N64 if they still have it. Mm. So you can play the N64 on the projector too. They have James yeah. Bond. <clears throat> I think was... they have Goldeneye. Goldeneye was the yeah. best. Yeah, I know. Uh, so anyway, this, this beer. Uh, some of you may have heard of the Brewing Project. That is... One of our local establishments, Eau Claire, Wisconsin. So uh, this beer, they're not really known for dark beers at all. Go in this You're going to go in that big guy? Yep, just a little bit. Um, a lot of IPAs they do typically. They do They do a crazy amount of IPAs. Yeah. So this one is called Cow Cow, but it's the Peppermint Mocha Cow Cow. And Cow Cow is, uh, <laughs> is their stout. And they, well, one of their stouts, I should say. Mm-hmm. They do, um, they do what I like to call a really, really thick stout, and you even notice it when you pour it. It, yeah. it, uh, like it's molasses. almost oily. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of mint. A lot, a lot of, a lot, lot of, of peppermint mint on the on nose. The nose. <laughs> a lot of mint. <laughs> Not the most mint I've had. No, but um, a drinkable, probably only one. Yeah, I I don't probably only have one. I don't get a lot of mocha from it. No, but but mint, tasty. If you like, it's a good uh, winter beer. Yeah, and this just came out, and which this is this would be a perfect Christmas beer. Yeah, sit by the fire after the in-laws. Well, leave. I think I think they're a little behind because they, uh, for those of you that follow Brewing Project, so they were in a really small space. They're just moved into this basically des- destination brewery. Huge. Yeah. It's almost like a mini Surly, if you know, if you follow Surly at all, um, for those of us in the Midwest, anyway. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, th- they're moving in there. I think they fell a little behind on their brewing, so they may have meant to have this come out yeah. during Christmas, but next year, maybe next year. You know, when they're good and moved in. This tastes like a peppermint patty. It does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. which is a good thing. Like if you're a, into that, yeah. It does not taste like it's mouthwash. Not mouthwash. No, no. It's very smooth uh, peppermint patty. Yeah, I've had a beer that tastes like mouthwash before. That was not good. No, that was not good at all. I yeah, did a good job in this. Yeah, yeah, very drinkable, especially for a, a place that's not known for stouts at all, mm-hmm. ever. Um, variants of IPAs usually, right? <laughs> well, I for <laughs> one, I'm glad they have this option yes me too <laughs> <laughs> not not big on the ipas but no i'm not so either I, i'll drink them but I, it's not something that i seek out typically yeah i think my my wife would enjoy this yeah oh yeah yeah uh so this one you brought over and yeah. i kept it for last and it, so it follows along it's it's another porter but it's a rye barrel chocolate porter and of course from our friends at central waters yeah can't go wrong with them. Yeah, look look for their uh, their episode from us soon. 
Hit, hit, yep. Andy. And this one, of course, is probably coming in at about 12%. Uh, I want to say. Uh, let's check it. Yeah. It's even on there. I'm guessing. And I know they've done this one before, but um, let's say third year maybe in a row that they've done this one. Yeah, I guess I don't see it on there. Yeah, I can always check untapped, but right. um, yeah. Malt beverage aged in rye barrels with cocoa nibs. Mm -hmm. And of course, those of you that have watched us before know our affinity with Central Waters and how great the mm. that we think their beers are anyway. <laughs> Yeah, a little boozy oh, yeah. on the nose. A little boozy on the nose. Well, that's, <laughs> that's, 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 that's typ typical Central Waters. That's, right. You know. That's the way I like it. A lot of chocolate, though. Yeah, you do get a lot of chocolate. You get a lot of that. chocolate and not a lot of booze. But nope. it is a it is a uh, heavier beer. Let's scan it. For those of you that don't have Untapped yet, by the way, uh, you can find Taproom Travelers on Untapped. That's in the description below. So you can find that. No match. Unbelievable. I actually tried to check this in. And huh. I, there wasn't an official one. It's so new that maybe... It's uh, so hot right now, yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> but it's delicious. I mean, it's you got, you got rye barrel and bourbon barrel. Right? Yeah. Rye barrel. Let's just... We'll manually type it in. Because this, uh, this makes good video. Right. Oh, there it is. Rye barrel chocolate porter. It's a double... It's an imperial. Yeah. Yeah. Uh twelve point six five. Oh, there it is. Just a real low twelve point six five. Right in that sweet spot. Right in the wheelhouse. Right in the wheelhouse. Yeah, if you've never been to Central Waters and you get a chance to check out their barrel aged room, it's it is incredible. I I thought I'd died and gone to heaven in that. Right. Yeah. It's if you if you see the right person there and if they didn't hate us while we were there. You can say, hey, Taproom Traveler said we could check out the barrel room, and maybe they'll take you back there. So you can get a smell, at least a smell of it, because right. it is it is pretty awesome. Right. Uh, I think you posted, you did you did some drone. Did some drone in there, yeah. It's uh, turned out pretty well. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'd, and I think they shared it, and it's out there in the, you know, the interweb somewhere, and I think Andy's in the process of editing that yeah. in and yeah um but i mean the the barrel aged room is so large that i could literally just fly a drone all the way down and you, you know a few football like a yeah. couple football fields and bring it all the way back and you're talking 20 foot high just barrels everywhere it's barrels insane. as far as you can see yeah I, I mean i you know you could throw a you can't even throw a football the smell is just booze yeah whiskey i yeah. i mean it's uh, kind of like a distillery. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, but uh, because they're used barrels, uh, I think the smell is just is better. Is, is better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, as as soon as you walk into that place, you just take a big old whiff, and oh man, really, <sighs> I'm home. Yeah, right. But you have to go to Amherst, Wisconsin. Where is that? You ask. <laughs> kind of out in the middle of nowhere. It's in the middle of Wisconsin, <laughs> in between. Uh, it's it's by Stevens Point, so yeah, a little uh, bit like south of Wausau. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Southeast. So you're not you're not too far away from uh, bigger places, and of course there's hotels and stuff to right. to stay at out there. But you can make a day of it and go hit up yeah. three four decent breweries yeah. within you know ten fifteen minutes of each yeah. other there. But yeah, we went it. we went to Oso, yeah, Oso and um, yeah. there's Point Brewery in Stevens Point, and yep. there's all kinds of other places around there and then if you're that far anyway you could go over to nina and green bay and, and then uh you know if you're making a time of it just go down to milwaukee just go to the whole state yeah you know just spend a week going yeah to breweries in the state. and if and if you're gonna and if you're gonna hit up eau claire then you know at least yeah well you can use the wisconsin hot passport and it, you can go everywhere it's a great segue <clears throat> not really no no, no. Who knew that we were in broadcasting at any point? <laughs> we have faces for radio. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, go check them out and uh, check all the places out. If you're going to come to Eau Claire, certainly come and check out Lazy Monk Brewing Project and uh, Modicum and all the places we have here. And for the love of Pete, if you're going to if you're gonna come here, make sure you tell us about it because maybe we'll come out and we'll, we'll have a pint with you. Right. 
Yeah. So uh, let us know what you think uh, in the comments below. And if you haven't already subscribed, make sure you do that. Click the bell. And then share us with a friend because we like to be shared. Mm -hmm. Pass us around a little bit. <laughs> you know what I mean. Oh, yeah. Just in time for Valentine's Day. That's right. Just in time for Valentine's Day. You can uh, share us with your Valentine. And also, be sure to like us. Show us some love. We're also on Instagram. We are. You double uh, tap the heart. Yep. And we're on Facebook, too. So if you're over the age of 35 and you're still on Facebook, <laughs> make sure you find us on Facebook. And then, of course, Twitter, if you want. If you're someone who likes to complain or... You can complain to us on Twitter. I mean, that's the place for it. Yeah, I mean, but, that's what I'm saying. If you're yeah. like, if you're someone who likes to read complaints and just just read about angry people, go on Twitter. Twitter is the we're place. We're also there. Twitter's the place for you. We, we don't, don't complain about stuff. No, so no, if you're we looking don't. for a break from that on Twitter. Usually just uh, when we post, we post uh, funny things. Yeah. Um things about, you know, beer, beer, being together with beer, sharing beer with friends. Mm -hmm. Nice things. We're on the nice side of Twitter. <laughs> so you be on the nice side of Twitter, too. Yeah. It's our public service announcement. That's right. This week. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's clean Twitter up. <laughs> make make, Twitter, make Twitter clean again. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, before we get too political, and uh, we'll probably, maybe we'll have Troy next week, and he can give us some more music knowledge. and Yeah, lack thereof. Yeah, we'll talk about Greg Zappa. So from us in the polar vortex and under two feet of snow, we'll see you next week. <laughs> Happy, Prost. Happy Valentine's Day. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time.